guys welcome back so today i got something different i uh, haven't been really doing much videos lately because it seems like all the projects i'm doing are something stuff that's already been done on youtube or you know this didn't seem that interesting but i've been busy doing all kinds of vehicle repairs and amongst other things anyway uh so today i have a 2006 toyota prius uh make a long story short about this car it was um had a blown head gasket so um i took the head off just to see what was going on and it turns out the connecting rod was bent from uh antifreeze going into the cylinder and hydro locking the uh the, the the piston and it bent the connecting rod so it wasn't worth fixing so then i picked up this engine on the left here from a junkyard for 600 bucks canadian and uh, I installed it, and the car was running, but uh, it kind of has a knock. So I uh, brought it back to the junkyard, uh, and the um, guy told me, you know, uh, let's see if it works its way it's, itself out after a few weeks. If not, come back and see me. I'll give you another motor. So I said, okay, you know, I'll, I'll, play, you know, I'll play around with it a little longer. So I drove it uh, back and forth to work for a while. Meanwhile, I had another car to fix, so it worked out. So uh, I used that car to go to work and back. Anyway, regardless, uh, it uh, it wasn't getting any better, so I brought it back. And he gave me this, uh, he didn't have any Prius engines, so he said he convinced me to take this Yaris engine instead, which should be lower miles. And he says uh, from the database was showing it should work. But reading on forums, it appears that certain things are different, but I've heard of one guy successfully doing this on a forum but uh there's no videos on it nothing like that so um here i am today uh i'm gonna be swapping all the parts from the sierras engine off and putting most of the parts from the uh, prius engine like the flywheel the intake uh probably swap over the injectors i'm not sure like if they're the same so i'll just like basically make this yaris engine think that it's uh, in a prius uh, or whatever you know so the the prius doesn't see any difference so um so that's my plan so here i am starting this right now uh i've uh, already pulled the motor um and uh i'm gonna swap over the parts and uh let's see what happens uh these generation two priuses are very popular for their reliability uh so it's kind of surprising that the, the head gasket blew on this one there's a few of them out there that this happened to so anyway uh, I'll uh, I'll come back to you uh, with uh, most of the parts swapped over, and I'll explain uh, what I did. So uh, keep keep tuned. Here we are again, just to give you an idea. This is the injector rail from the original Prius, and there's the uh, the one from the Yaris. It's got that weird round thing, like right. Hold on, let's point it out here. That thing. I don't know what that does, but that's different. Injectors aren't the same color, so uh, just to be sure, I'm gonna put the Yaris injectors. I mean, sorry, the Prius injectors into the Yaris engine. Second uh, obvious difference, which I have seen on photos, but I ain't show it to you guys here. So this is the Yaris engine. You see how pointy the uh, intake lobes are. The uh, Prius engine is very round cam lobes the look if you see it from the side if you see one particularly like these exhaust ones are the same but they're similar but these uh intake ones obviously it's like a nice round so it keeps that intake open much longer uh and that's to simulate the uh they call i think uh the atkins uh, style motor anyway whatever uh that's a definite difference but um i'm gonna leave the uh yaris cam in there anyway apparently uh, some people uh swap over the cams to give it more performance anyway from a yaris into a prius uh and uh, from what i read uh just on the sh this tiny little description that the guy wrote on the forum uh it didn't affect the fuel mileage and it worked so uh, after like eighty thousand miles so so we'll leave the original Yaris cam in there leave all that alone and uh we'll see what happens so i just got done taking the flywheel off the original one which is on the floor now basically what you have to do is 
take out these bolts. This is the clutch, the original clutch. Take out the bolts around here, and then that allows you to remove this piece. And then you got access to the center bolts that hold it onto the crank. Now this is the one from the Prius, actually my original motor. This one over here still has his, so this is how it looks before anything is removed. So this one's kind of the same deal. You remove these, then allows you to remove this center piece. And then when that's removed, it looks like this. And then you can uh, lock tight your bolts, torque them down the spec. I'll look it up in the uh, Toyota manual. And uh, yeah, I made a line for where this piece used to be so it ends up in the same place don't know if it matters but there's no sensors on this flywheel or anything uh, that I could see um, so I don't think it really matters but I might uh, look into that just to make sure before I torque everything down and so and then after that I'll just put the top piece back on and hope for the best so obviously that's another difference from the Yaris to the uh, Prius the Prius doesn't have a clutch, it just has this, uh, I guess they call it like a dampener. So, that's that part that being in, in the progress of being swapped. Okay, here we are again. Another not so obvious difference. Well, it's pretty obvious once you have you look at it. But this pipe that goes across the front of the engine, which is a coolant pipe, goes like that. That pipe, you see uh, there's a T coming off of it right here. The uh, Yaris one does not have that, so that has to be swapped as well. All right, we're moving along here. So I swapped over the uh, coolant line, swapped over this uh, knock sensor, I believe. On the Yaris, it was actually here, and I'm not sure it's the same. It looks the same, probably been okay, but, but uh, the mounting is different. So I used the one from the um, Prius, uh, I swapped over this uh, VVT control valve from the Prius. Not sure if those were the same, but the one on the Yaris was quite rusty anyway, so I swapped that over. Uh, I will be swapping over this um, dipstick. It's pretty corroded on this one. And the other one looks a lot better, so I'll be swapping that over. Might not have been necessary, but the way it attaches to the Intake, I believe, is different, so actually might be necessary. Um, other than that, I'm leaving the oil pressure sensor uh, from the Yaris in there. Uh, and I'm also, what I believe, I think this is the coolant temp sensor here. It looks identical. I decided to leave that on. Um, aside from that, I swapped over the tensioner and uh engine mount from the uh prius that's quite different because uh the yaris has an alternator and this one doesn't so uh this is the one from the prius um aside from that on the back well obviously the exhaust manifold will be coming from the prius um this engine didn't even come with them i cleaned up these exit points uh they seem pretty smooth so I think we'll be okay there. Um, I'm also swapped the, f the f not the flywheel, but the uh, the pulley for the belt, uh, just because this one's less rusty. Uh, but uh, I actually didn't compare them. Then count the grooves. It might have been. Yeah, it's actually. Uh, I'm looking at it now. Look at that. Probably that was necessary. Look, there's four grooves. Uh, into the air in, four grooves in the Yaris one and uh, Prius only has three so that was a necessary uh, swap as well so a lot of little things uh, I will be swapping the coils I'll be using the Prius coils and uh, I think that's it just about ready to pop this back into the car and do the rest of the reassembly in there because you don't want too much on this thing as you're put, putting it in. Uh, it's a very tight fit, uh, especially when you do it from the top like I decided to do. Um, so that's it. Uh, we'll uh, uh, show you guys when it's in the car and 
completely reassembled shortly. Okay, here I am under the car. I just hung the engine. Um, I just noticed something that I wish I would have noticed before I put the engine on. There's some hole, two holes missing here. There's an engine mount that uh, this attaches to that goes up there and uh, bolts go through these holes. And uh, yeah, you need a hole, so uh, two holes. So I'm gonna see if I could drill it with a short uh, corner drill, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be really annoying to do this in situ, and I really don't wanna pull the motor back out, so I'm gonna give it a shot, hopefully it works. But yeah, a note to whoever, it, if, if anybody tries this, uh, drill those holes before you put the engine on. Preferably. Okay, here we are again after drilling the holes. Turns out that the metal right here is actually super thin. It was like made to be opened up. Like it was only like a, a thin skin on this side. And there's actually already a hole in there. I used a uh, corner drill like this uh, to start it. I was thinking I'd have to bump it up. Hey, you know, this, these are the, the drills that these work with. They're like a screw type. And then this is like a mini chuck. And I put a carbide uh, bit in there. It's actually broken, but still did the job. I don't know if this will focus or not here, but uh, let's see. Okay, now you see it. So uh, these teeth were able to just uh, make quick work of widening that hole. And uh, yeah, since it was only about maybe uh, not even an eighth, not even an eighth of an inch thick, it was pretty quick to do. So there's one of them there. There's the other one. So yeah, better to do that on the ground than in the car, but it's not a big deal. Okay, I think this will be the last thing I noticed that was different. Um, this spout on the bottom of the engine where the coolant comes out. Uh, the one on the arrows was facing this direction and, uh, initially I thought maybe just spin it around, but it's actually different. Uh, it, it does, once you spin it around, it doesn't actually point in the right direction. So that's another piece I had to grab from the, the, uh, Prius engine. So, uh, I think that's it for the differences. I'm going to put all the rest of this together and hopefully the next update will be, uh, this thing starting up. Okay, here we are again. The engine is coming up to temperature now. It sounds amazing compared to my previous engine. So the Yaris engine is running in the Prius. Um, obviously, I still need to put some stuff back together before I take this for a test drive, but it's looking very positive right now. See, the old engine was also burning oil quite bad and uh, creating like oil smoke smell out of the tailpipe this one is not so that's a good sign um it's uh oh yeah super smooth like super happy um can't wait to take this for a drive and uh see what happens seem to be idling fine so we'll uh get back to you once i test drive just to do a recap, I've been driving this uh, for three days. Everything's been going good. It uh, The fuel economy seems similar than before. We're out here in uh, Montreal, Canada. It's quite cold, so it's uh, it's not great in the winter. But we'll see in the summer if it improves. It seems to be slightly improving as I'm driving it more and more. But uh, just a recap, I ended up keeping the... Uh, Yaris coils and the Yaris spark plugs. I got thinking that maybe uh, that was a good idea since the compression might, might not be exactly the same since uh, uh, the difference in the cams. And I noticed there's a difference in the valve cap. You see how that bolt there is not fastened? It's because this valve cover does not have spout, spouts to attach that to. So I should have swapped over the uh, valve cover from the other engine. But I did not. I just left it like that for now. Maybe later on I'll do that. Because the uh, the old one was quite dirty on the inside. I'd like kind of carbon build up. So I didn't want to dirty up this engine. And this one was nice and clean. So it's always a good sign. 
it probably means the guy was changing his oil so other than that i don't really have much else to say um this this swap works uh for anybody out there who is wondering about this who's you know there's plenty of prettiest engines in scrap yards but uh if you want you can put a yaris engine it actually feels kind of a little bit more peppy when you're driving around when you're accelerating at high speeds especially like on the highway so hope you guys uh enjoyed uh this and uh uh, whoever for for the people that that needed the information and uh, we'll see you again soon bye bye <laughs>